today on Black Pepper Media Shooting, I had a special request from a fella who calls himself HRT4Me, Hurt For Me, that's on the muzzleloadingforum.com website. I'll just read it as it says here. He asked, have you ever recovered a lead ball in good enough condition to stuff down the front of your muzzleloader, rifle, pistol, revolver, and fire it again without having to melt and recast in a mold? Well, I responded to that. Absolutely, I do that quite often. So what we're going to do is talk about it for a few minutes. I'm going to recover a little bit of lead from back here at the zoo bottoms, and we're going to make it happen. Hearing an aperture is strongly recommended. Yeah, to get a little rock and rolling started here, I'm going to take the old uh, Kentucky Petrosolate flintlock gun. I'm going to put 50 grains of Schutzen 3F down in that old barrel. you got to cap that horn to keep it safe. Got a little bit pillow taking patchwork. Stuff a 480 round ball down in there. And see if I can hit that zoo critter down here. Now if I can't hit it, <laughs> maybe I'll be able to recover it. Let's use it again. Now as I'm loading this, I'll basically tell you guys that uh, new to the channel is a bit shooting at this location here at the zoo bottom since 2013 and most of the time it's right in here because as you can see from looking over here the weeds are over my head i mowed every few weeks during the summer so i can have a place to burn the powder and sling the lead but behind that zoo critter up there and I've had zoo critters sitting there since 2013 for the most part, is a small uprising hill. In between those two trees and maybe 30 feet up is probably five to 6,000, probably even more than that, round balls from 440s. Uh, recently got a black powder revolver pistol, so there's probably 100 or so 451s in there. Uh, 5,000 plus .480s, some 490s, and a few thousand of the .600s. So we're going to go up there here in a few minutes, recover a few of those. Hopefully they're 480s. If not, I'm going to melt them anyway, make them into 480s, and see if we can shoot them straight out of the ground. Yeah. <laughs> That might be another one I'm gonna have to recover. Let's try one more and I'll go down and start some recovery. Yeah, I got him that time. I won't find that round ball because I noticed that when it hits that steel target at 35 yards away, the ball just disintegrates. I find little pieces of scrap of the balls laying in front of it, but not the whole thing. Before getting into the black powder hobby back in 2013, I was a huge metal detectorist fan. And I didn't want to bring one of the detectors down here today, but I did bring a thing called a pinpointer here. Now the cool thing about this is that if it gets within an inch or so of it, it detects it with a pulse. So we're going to take this thing up here in a few minutes, and we're going to see how many of these little .480 balls I can recover. And we're going to stick them in this uh, Petersoli Kentucky rifle and shoot them again. Yeah. You know, like that smoke coming out of there. Yeah, it looks good. As I figured, I couldn't find any uh, any evidence of that round ball, but uh, you can at least see where I hit it. And that's the main thing. But right behind here, up there about 20 feet, is thousands of round balls. Let's get up and find a few with this rascal, and we're going to shoot them again. Here, there's got to be some in here somewhere. Ah, there's one right there. There's one right there. You can see how dirty that thing looks. So we're gonna 
Looks like it might be a 480. We'll, we'll find out in a few minutes. We'll, uh, that one I don't know about. <laughs> Looks like it's, uh, I don't know about that one. Looks like it's kind of half flattened. So that one probably hit a target. So we'll try that one too. There's another weird looking one. <laughs> I just find them just every time I drop it on the ground. Yeah, there's a nasty looking one there. Plenty of dirt on that one. We can shoot that one too. Let's see if we can find a few more up here. There's one right there off the bat. Look how dirty that one is. Yeah. We probably, that yeah, looks like a 480. We'll probably shoot that one. There's another one right there. They're coming out like flies. Oh, that's a .600. I think we'll be able to shoot that one here. Let's go home and melt that one. Yeah, there's another flattened one. <laughs> I ain't gonna be able to use that one. Let's go home and melt it. I've only been up here less than five or six minutes and I've already found a dozen of them. And that's just when using this little small pinpointer. If I bring a real detector down here, this thing would never shut up because it would just be wall to wall metal targets. Be lead everywhere. That's gonna be enough. The mosquitoes starting to eat me up, so got a pretty good little stash of them here and we're going to uh, pull out the ones that fit in the barrel and shoot them <laughs> got a few of them in here we're going to shoot here in a few minutes but before we get started I'd like to like to ask a favor of you guys I very seldom look at the YouTube algorithms and the analytics and all that stuff that geeks really enjoy I I don't get into it that much, but recently I did look at the way that subscribers worked on the channel. I realized that 27% of you guys watching this are actual subscribers. Man, that's, that's not much. I understand that a lot of the viewers come here from Facebook and from MeWe.com and the MuzzleloadingForum.com and other places that I post the, the things, but 27%, I like to see those two numbers reversed. Get these two numbers here, go from 72% subscribe and 27% not. So the only way we could do that is ask you, and I only do this maybe twice or three times a year, to hit that subscribe button down there in the corner and actually become a subscriber to the site. I generally try to post shooting videos on Sundays, and I have a lot of fun stuff coming up soon to post on the channel so if you don't mind hit that little subscribe button hit that notification bell so you know that when new videos come up and i will bring you more of the fun all right enough of that let's get back to the shooting because i know that's what you're really here for yeah so let's get this thing loaded up and put one of these down in here and see what happens there's a pillow ticking patch right here on the top let that sit there for a minute and let's see if we can find something in here that will, that will work. That one looks kind of weird. It doesn't look like it's truly round. It's got some mud on. It's kind of flattened on one side. So let's put that one down in there. Oh boy, that one is tough. Ooh. Let's prime this rascal up and see if we can actually hit that blue critter down there. So I think it's a 480 ball. It could have been a 451. Let's see if we'll wobbly will get it or not. <laughs> oh man, that smells great. Love that black pepper smell. But choked. Let's try this one. You can see it's got a little flat edge on it there. Yes! <laughs> I got him that time with a half flattened round ball. Woohoo! Let's try this again. This is just too much fun. That one really got a flat edge on it. Let's try that one. It went in awful easy. Of course, half the ball's gone or flattened one. It should come out easy. <laughs> Who knows where that was wet? Right, I got the patch on there. Get the camera down here so you can see how it's loaded up. Let's see how this looks. This one's got a flat edge on this side. It's got a chewed mark on that side. Not sure how I need to load this one up. 
Get the flat edge on both sides, I reckon. It'll do. That's one out of three. I think it is. I gotta do one more to redeem myself, surely. Uh, I think I got one more in here that might fit. So let's use something a little bit straighter. Uh, for the last shot, let's try this one here. This one here looks pretty nice. It's kind of almost round. I can still see the sprue mark on it. So put the sprue up. Oh, that one's really nice to load. Nice and straight. Let's see if they could get the redemption with this one. That ball's fairly straight. A lot of mud on it, but still straight. Yes! Got him! <laughs> I love it. There you go. HRT for me on the muzzleloadingforum.com. I guess you can shoot round balls. Just perfectly brought out of the woods in the mud. Don't count a whole lot on accuracy, but if you watch this channel, you know you don't count on accuracy for me anyway. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next adventure.